Namaste everyone. My name is Carmen and I'm doing this video for the Living Yoga School for the final exam of the 200 hours teacher training course. So in this video I'm gonna talk about and demonstrate Uttita Trikonasana. Uttita Trikonasana in Sanskrit means extended triangle pose. In this asana, we are gonna stretch our body to form a triangle shape. This is a standing asana and it's very beneficial to improve strength, flexibility and balance. Not only in our body but also in our mind. I'm gonna now shortly demonstrate Uttita Trikonasana and then explain adjustment, modifications and benefits. So, First thing to know is how to come into the basic starting position. There are two ways. The first way is the one I just demonstrated. So from standing in the front of the mat, bring your hands on the waist and take a big step back with the right foot and from here extend your arms on the side, elbow, wrist and shoulders in one line. This is the basic position to start Uttita Trikonasana. There is also another way to enter in this position, just starting from the middle of your mat legs together, feet together, hands together with the elbow bent in this way and just bend your knee and with inhalation jump. So it's the same position just two different ways to enter. So from here the second important thing to know is how to align your feet. There are also two ways. The first one is called the heel to heel alignment and it can be done just by lifting your toes of the right foot and turning the right foot out. So parallel to the mat. The other way is called heel to center of the back foot and this can be done by lifting the heel, the right, the heel of the right foot and turn halfway then lift the toes and turn the other halfway. So now my right, the heel of the right foot is aligned to the middle of the back foot. So 
Now my feet are aligned. What I need to know to do is to tighten the knee of the back leg. The tight, uh, tight muscle should be rotated outwards. Elongation of the spine, arms stretched, shoulder back and down, navel and abdominal facing front, not moving in any way, and by pressing the outreach of the of the back foot into the mat slowly i move only from the hip to reach the right ankle and gaze up on the thumb the two arms should be in one straight line. So what is important here is that chest, abdomen and shoulders has to be turned up. So not, don't let your chest collapse down uh, forward. So chest open. So with inhalation, come up and repeat on the other side by first aligning your feet. So right feet come back and left foot aligned properly, navel, abdominal straight hips squared, um, shoulders back and down, elongation of the spine and pressing the outer edge of the right foot into the mat, slowly bend sidewards and reach the left ankle by turning abdomen, chest and shoulder up in this way and looking up gazing the thumb and again inhale and come back feet parallel to each other hand on the wrist and back so a modification for this posture that can be very beneficial for people who have any kind of knee issues or even if you just feel any kind of knee pressure could be very useful to modify the posture in this way so again from the basic position Turn the right foot out, so tighten the left knee, elongate your spine, shoulders back and down. And in, okay. in this moment, I, this time I'm going to bend my right knee while I'm reaching the right ankle. And I'm going to place my hand on the shin bone or on the ankle or anywhere it feels good. For me also in this case, chest and abdomen is turned up. No, don't let the chest collapse. And with exhalation, come back on the other side. Same. Bend the knee and, and again inhale, come back. 
So this modification is very effective for any kind of knee issues. Also, it can be very useful to use block according to your flexibility. Also in my case, for example. So you can just place your hand on the block in this way. So in this way you don't put pressure on the shin bone and on the knee again. So these are the possible modification for Okita Trikonasana. This asana is very beneficial for all the muscle of the side of the body. This muscle has a very effective stretch during this asana. Also, it's very beneficial to lose waistline fat and to open the hips. This is also a hip opener. And also this asana is very good for abdominal organs and for digestion. But it's also very, very useful for any kind of depression, anxiety, stress and to bring awareness, concentration, focus and balance in the mind. That's why the Utita Trikonasana is very very effective, very very beneficial asana. There are a few contraindications for people who suffer from any kind of spine or back injuries, they should avoid Tita Trikonasana. Also people who have high blood pressure or low blood pressure is to avoid. And for anybody who has any kind of uh, knee, hips, uh, shoulders and neck, Issues, they for them is recommend to practice very carefully and with the guidance of a teacher. So that's all for Utita Trikonasana. Thank you so much for watching this video.